that is given forth to us as the keys of heaven for love, for peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, and goodness. Thus, fervent fidelity given unto mercy shows us an ability to have not only the glorification and edification of the spirit, but also the sanctification of spirit, as well as the body itself and the soul, understanding that the same way that we can purify the body, mind, and soul, we are also able to share that and have the reciprocation of it. So thus, it is that we end up seeing that the same way of resistance in the physical, we can receive that resistance in the spiritual, but it gives us strength, it edifies us, allows us to reach higher heights, to have more strength, to have more fervent spirit, to build faith. It is because of this, it is an ability to grow every day, to have more power, and it is that gedula, and the greatness actually, of God, it miot miot, as it is to have that understanding and to look towards that ethereal realm of the command to receive Hokman Bana and Das entering into a world of emanation of absolute, the iron self or, and the flowing down of the blessing of heaven from the higher realms of existence to then receive that within this world so that we can receive that formation and creation of the actions of the necessary spiritual acquiescence to the law of God, that we and ourselves are connected to the Lord of hosts, the Sabbath as it is, and that we are a clear a vessel for the Lord God, that Christ worketh within us and purifies us for the edification and the purpose of the saints. So thus, we receive the kingdom of heaven, for God is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, shows us the very parallel from the tree of life as it is, to the Lord's Prayer and how we have that reference for these principles that it is that eternal blessing of salvation and the giving forth of the Word of God so in time and in season that through the spoken word we may manifest the evidence of the creation of this blessing is receiving Christ and through the proclamation of Jesus, Jesus is Lord, then end up finding that anointing as Christians so that we receive the kingship and the salvation that comes forth from Christ Jesus. With that, we are beloved before God and we receive his eternal salvation, the perfect splendor of the Lord God. And going forth from day to day, we are renewed with the edification of the Spirit. He allows for us to make that ascension and to understand that no matter how low we have to go into this world to fight tribulation, sin, and iniquity, on the other side of that, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of darkness, I shall fear no evil, for the Lord is with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. When he takes us through darkness, he prepares for us a path of light and illumination. God is light and God is love. Know that regardless of how hard the trials and the tribulations of this world are, that if you persevere, there is an equal blessing and measure of righteousness and love for you. I want you to receive that. When you are going through hardship, count it all joy, my brothers, for he has given you a spiritual blessing and know that God is preparing an eternal and everlasting and immortal foundation of Christ Jesus. I want you to proclaim it, believe it, and receive it. Jesus is Lord. God bless. God bless America.